This is a graduating year project Patrick Kowalski and I put together a semi-automatic motorcycle gear shifter. Now you'll notice here beside the ignition is a user interface. The little red LED blinking means that it is loading previous characteristics from memory, but for the sake of this test we're going to overwrite those just to show you the implementation of the system. Starting the bike in first gear, just so there's a load on the engine while we set the RPM range. In manual mode, we set it to 5,000 RPM and right now 3,500 RPM. The bike will attempt to shift up or down to maintain the bike within that RPM range. So you'll notice here if we exceed 5,000 RPM, here will be the first shift through neutral. The bike will upshift. To do that, it momentarily disables the ignition for about 200 milliseconds. That takes the load off of the transmission and allows the bike to, the actuator to actually do the shifting for you. And this is a close-up to showing how violent the shifting is. There's about 35 pounds of force created by that actuator. Now, contrary to the opposite, below 3,500 the bike will downshift. You notice how smooth the actual shifting is? Actually, I mean, you can't actually see the tire, but on the road tests you'll see how smooth it is, but that's another 35 pounds force downshifting the engine. Oh, transmission, sorry. And now let's bring the bike to a stop so we can actually show it on the road test. Now, if you'll remember, we previously set the RPM range to 3.5 to 5,000 RPM. So here, starting up, whenever the bike exceeds 5,000 RPM, it'll automatically upshift. So keep an eye on the RPM needle. You know, this will skip through neutral, the green LED on the side of the dash and this is just the bike accelerating. Now because this is actually with load on the wheel the RPM actually drops by about a thousand whereas in the previous test it only dropped by about half a thousand because it's a lot easier for the bike to maintain velocity without a load on the wheel. Um, the hardware of course needs a little bit more uh, fine-tuning. This was an amazingly close proof of concept idea though so only about uh, it's it still misses about five percent of the shifts which I think uh, with redundancy is more than great, but here you'll notice actually a uh, very aggressive downshifting. The bike actually moves out of frame.